From the tallest towers in the world to some seriously impressive museums, check out the 10 coolest buildings being built right now. Jeddah Tower, Saudi Arabia. This is the building everyone is talking about this year. We are starting off the list with the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. The skyscraper is due to become the very first building to be one kilometer high. That's exactly 3,281 feet from floor to the tallest tip. Such a feat of construction is simply incredible. The building is so expensive that it took a billionaire Saudi prince to foot the bill, Prince Al Walid bin Talal. This massive tower was designed by a man named Adrian Smith who is the same architect behind the Hancock Center and Burj Khalifa. As the centerpiece of an impressively modern suburb also under development, the skyscraper is going to have a perch for sightseers at 157 stories up. It even comes with a special new elevator that involves double-decker cabins being whisked between the floors using a newly designed carbon fiber cord. I can't even imagine going to the top of this giant shard of glass and steel. This is the most impressive tower under development right now, and possibly ever built. In fact, the Jeddah Tower was supposed to be a a mile high, not just a wimpy kilometer. Unfortunately, the surrounding geometry proved unsuitable for a mile high structure. The estimated date of completion is sometime in 2021. The Grand Egyptian Museum, Egypt. How much should a museum cost to build? 100 million, maybe 500 million? Well, the new Grand Egyptian Museum in Cairo costs roughly $1 billion to make and it's not even finished yet. Considering Egypt is a country most renowned for its antiques, artifacts, and ancient history, it should be no surprise that they would spend such a boggling amount of money on a museum, especially after the last one was pillaged and left in a state of disrepair in 2011. Speaking of 2011, the Grand Egyptian Museum, which was announced in 1992, was supposed to have opened in 2011. As of now, in 2020, it is still not ready. Thanks to a certain annoying virus, the Grand Egyptian Museum has now been pushed back another year to 2021. But don't worry, if you love Egypt and Egyptian artifacts, this museum is going to astound and amaze you. There will be over 100,000 Egyptian artifacts covering a time span of thousands of years and even a special collection of Tut artifacts. Plus, you can expect to find a cinema, a conference center, lots of tourist shops, and as much food as you can handle. And now for number 8, but first be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the fam, and let us know if you've ever visited any of these buildings in the comments below. The Grand Rama 9 Tower, Thailand when you think of Thailand, you probably picture elephants in Pad Thai, snorkeling with sea creatures and partying on the beach. You probably didn't know that Thailand is one of the biggest up-and-coming economies in the world, but they are. Their most recent display of wealth is reflected in Bangkok's newest skyscraper, the Grand Rama 9 Tower in the city center, which should be completed in 2021. The tower will stand over 2,000 feet tall and look right at home in the city center, which is already dominated by high-rise buildings and megalithic shopping malls. The building will be the tallest in all of Southeast Asia, and there will even be a six-star hotel inside of it. I didn't even know six-star hotels existed. It sure does look like an impressive tower though, almost reminding me of Batman with the pointy ears at the top of the structure. Looks more like the Bruce Wayne Tower. But of course, the Grand Rama 9 Tower was named after one of Thailand's old but not forgotten kings. Besides the giant tower, there is much more development going on in the city of Bangkok, including massive development of a transit line that will bring people from the less developed outer rims of the city to the center. Central Park Tower, United States of America Central Park Tower is set to be the tallest residential building in the entire world. You remember the Empire State Building? Oh yeah, well, the Central Park Tower looks down on it. The Central Park Tower will finish construction hopefully later this year. It will stand 1,550 feet tall with 131 floors and 179 apartments. Apparently, apartments will start as low as $7 million for a two-bedroom and an absolutely unattainable amount of money for a penthouse suite. All in all, it has been reported that there are $4 billion worth of apartments for sale. This is truly a building for the world's rich. A view from Central Park Tower is absolutely stunning, like looking across a great kingdom of iron and glass, with Central Park in its center and a hint of ocean on the horizon. But what else do you get in the world's tallest residential building? How about an elevator that goes upwards at 2,000 feet a minute? An indoor gym? 
spa, pool, and restaurant, all of which are obviously quite tasteful. There is even a Nordstrom's inside the building. I mean, come on, how rich can you get? The Nanjing Zendai Himalaya Center, China. This place is pretty cool. The Nanjing Zendai Himalaya Center in China is an entire complex of unique modern buildings and residential hubs. It is a mixed-use development center with over 560,000 square meters of area. This center will host all kinds of different functions, including commercial, office, hotel, and residential. It is slotted for completion later this year. What is really interesting about the Nanjing Zendai Himalaya Center is that it is an effort to create an ultra-modern complex while keeping a special harmony with nature. It has integrated contemplative spaces with natural surroundings and modern living conditions. Some examples are the public gardens and social spaces with footbridges and low-rising buildings to better create a spiritual retreat in the heart of an otherwise very unnatural city. Towers appear like mountains with white curved glass flows downwards like waterfalls, merging with man-made ponds to emulate the effect of mountains and rivers. This is a very cool idea that I wish would be implemented more often in some of our concrete jungles. Jubel 2, Saudi Arabia Jubel 2 is not so much a single building under construction, but more like an entire city. Jubel 2 is often considered as the world's biggest civil engineering project, consisting of 83 square kilometers of industrial development. The project started in 2005 in Saudi Arabia and is set to continue its construction all the way until 2026. I'm talking about over $80 billion of infrastructure over a 20-year period. There are over 20,000 workers during busy season constructing miles of roads, different utilities, over 50,000 residential units, and wastewater management, plus all the other important infrastructure it takes to build a city from the ground up. Some of the biggest industries inside this megalithic construction project include aluminum and smelting industries and a massive desalination plant. What began as a small and humble fishing village is now an industrial monster. There is an artificial harbor, railways, and superstructures that all allow Jubel II to act as a self-sufficient mining nation. The scope of such a project is baffling, and while there may not be any skyscrapers, believe me that this is a huge feat of engineering. The Sky Fame Center Landmark Tower, China China has no shortage of incredible buildings. There is no denying China's immense infrastructure and its growing metropolises of high-rise buildings, skyscrapers, and mega shopping malls. The Sky Fame Center Landmark Tower in Nanning, which is estimated to be completed sometime in 2021, will stand at 1,732 feet tall and have 108 stories. The conceptual photos are nothing short of impressive. The building, which will be one of the tallest in the world, looks to me kind of like a really skinny bowling pin but built from steel and glass with a lot of green space inside of the actual skyscraper. Whether the developer intended to make an almost 18,000 foot tall skinny bowling pin or not is yet undetermined, but I'm betting against it. My favorite thing about the Sky Fame Center Landmark Tower is the amount of effort that went into clean air and infinite daylight. The entire tower has been optimized using a special natural wall system which filters air and creates maximum sustainability inside the building. The entire idea is really quite innovative for the times. There is even a system of solar panels for energy efficiency. The Chuo Shinkansen Line Japan. Number three on my list is hardly a building, I know, but it is nonetheless an impressive engineering project currently underway and expected to start operating daily in 2027. You've probably heard Japan's ultra-fast bullet train system. What you may not know is that they are actually in the process of building an even faster train. This is the Maglev Bullet Train, also known as the Chuo Shinkansen Line. The current line, called the Takedo Shinkansen Line, can go from Tokyo to Nagoya in 86 minutes. The new line will do it in 40. This may not seem like a big deal, but it is in fact a huge deal. Japan is essentially erasing the need for cars. As someone who has been on the Takedo Shinkansen Line and traveled at 285 kilometers an hour from Tokyo to Nagoya, I can tell you how obsolete getting in a car feels. That train is quick, and Japan is doubling it in 2027 with their maglev technology that will allow the new train to fly at 500 kilometers an hour, cutting travel times in half. 
Imagine a train that could bring you from New York to Los Angeles in eight hours, which is quicker than flying when you take into consideration security, to and from the airport, and all the other hassles of air travel. It is also way quicker than driving a car. Japan's new rail line is an incredible $81.9 billion project underway as we speak. Merdeka Tower, PNB 118, Malaysia. The Merdeka PNB 118 Tower is Malaysia's answer to the global skyscraper competition. This baby is 118 floors of steel and glass, and it looks impressive. Nestled in the city of Kuala Lumpur, the tower's name Merdeka means Independence Day in Malay. And while the tower looks okay, it doesn't strike me as overly unique. Still, it has 82 office floors, 18 floors of a six-star luxury hotel, 18 floors dedicated to the Sky Lobby, an observation deck for tourists, and seven floors of shopping. So I guess the Merdeka Tower has something for everybody. When finished, this will be the tallest tower in Malaysia, the fifth highest tower in the world, and the third highest tower in all of Asia. This is impressive when your competition is China and the United Arab Emirates. It makes me wonder how tall skyscrapers will be 50 years from now. The Moon As always, I have saved the best for last. The most impressive building currently under construction is being built by our friends at NASA. This is the coolest thing that nobody is talking about right now. You remember that one time a man walked on the moon? Well, NASA is currently developing the giant space launch system in conjunction with their Orion spacecraft and their Gateway Lunar Command module to not only go back to the moon, but to stay on the moon. That's right, I am talking about a moon house. While the house will not actually be situated directly on the lunar surface, NASA is developing a station that will orbit the moon just like the International Space Station orbits Earth. This will be a gateway between Earth and the moon where not only astronauts will go, but also commercial vessels. NASA wants sustainable pedestrian expeditions from Earth to the moon starting in 2024. That does not mean you can buy a ticket to the moon in 2024, but the system will be set up within four years from today for constant travel between us and the big white space rock. So what if there are skyscrapers one kilometer high? NASA's gateway will be a travel hub that orbits the moon. Which of these buildings currently under construction impressed you the most? Which extremely tall tower would you purchase a room in if you had a few extra million lying around? Tell me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next interesting video.